In the 13th century, seven prominent businessmen in Florence, Italy, were appalled at the excessive materialism and immorality of the city. They decided to take a countercultural stand against the excesses of the times. After receiving a vision of the Blessed Virgin Mary who told them to leave the city, they left all behind and dedicated themselves to a life of poverty, prayer, and penance, calling themselves the servants of Mary. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki with a few thoughts on this feast of the seven holy founders of the Servite Order. We celebrate these saints together because they show us how holiness and true community go together. And we're all called to community life, whether it's in our families, our neighborhoods, our parishes, our nation, or our church. A few years ago, on the 700th anniversary of the founding of the Servites, their prior general had some helpful words about something that tears communities apart. Here's what he wrote. There are obstacles in the path of community life, and they have to be fought against. For example, that sort of gossip that creates prejudices, that extinguishes trust, that does not speak well about others. Before speaking or criticizing, we must ask ourselves about the basis, the usefulness and worth of our words. All murmuring, all harmful speech must be avoided. We have to insist on what unites us, on the work of our group, on our aims, on mutual trust. It is in community that we live united, of one heart and mind, in prayer, in listening to the Word of God, in the breaking of the bread of the Eucharist.